Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. It's so repulsive to watch, you automatically have to think how she's gonna run to the toilet. Repulsive. She's gonna fart a lot. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna to react to Vegan Beauty Girl with her video Lazy but Healthy Vegan What I Eat in a Week. Alright, a week is kind of long so I don't think we're gonna watch the whole video. Nevertheless, her channel's name, Vegan Beauty Girl, got me very, very curious. Let's have a look. Hey guys. Welcome to Hello. another episode of What I Eat in a Week as a Vegan. Actually, for the very first time, this made me think about the definition of being a vegan. Obviously, she is not a vegan. They identify as vegans just to then a few years later drop out of veganism because contrary to popular belief, we are not Herbivores. We're having a really bizarrely sunny week this week. It's still only March, Bizarre. but we've got temperatures hitting 20 degrees, even though it has got me pretty worried about the climate crisis. But yeah, it's springtime. We have Good. daffodils and sunshine. <laughs> the mornings are brighter, the evenings are longer. Of course, climate fear and veganism goes hand in hand. Uh, and this week we have a lazy but what healthy I what I eat in a week because I am not spending a lot of time in the kitchen, but I am eating a lot of fruit and veg and just really healthy meals. And this is kind of like- Why is fruit and veg healthy? Could you explain? Way to cook and eat. But Probably yeah, thank not. Thank you so much for joining me on another week. Yeah, let's get Somebody to it. Somebody told me. I'm gonna make porridge this morning. Got some mango in the fridge, which I'm gonna mix up with this and some yogurt as well. <sighs> That's vegan music. Okay, fantastic. So you have a bunch of gluten, you have a bunch of phytates, you have a bunch of sugar, and you have a bunch of dairy replacement mixed with even more sugar. You have absolutely no fat soluble vitamins here and no bioavailable protein. Why would you eat this? And how is this healthy? Nobody knows. Nobody wants to know. Now, of course, you're still starving. You're not satisfied after your breakfast, so you're eating junk food. Of course, there are stimulants in chocolate on top. Why would you need it? Hmm, strange. So I've got these hot cross buns. Healthy, co ladies I and gentlemen. I'm being a bad vegan here because this does say that it's not suitable for vegans because it may be made of shellac coated fruit. So for those of you who don't know, a lot of like oranges, lemons, any fruit that kind of has a waxy peel, I guess, they are sometimes coated with shellac, which is from beetles. It's not vegan, shellac. but they are sometimes coated with it to make them look shinier in the supermarkets, I believe is mostly it. It's so dumb and it's so hard to monitor. It just is so unnecessary. It feels so ridiculous and fruitless. <laughs> fruitless. I've noticed it's so unnecessary, so dumb, but you still bought them. And those as well, like some of their sauces are pretty Bell much vegan, except for the fact that they contain like oranges or lemons and they can't guarantee that lemons or oranges don't have shellac on them because they just shellac. don't come with that. I love the word. Them. You don't go to the supermarket and see one of the oranges like shellac or shellac free. So frustrating. If they said it definitely did contain shellac, then I would... Okay, that's all fantastic. Shellac, shellac. Laka, laka, laka. But the question is, of course, why would you name this video healthy if you're eating cross buns? I don't avoid it, but because it's saying we don't know, because it is I don't not know either. monitored or labeled, unfortunately, I will buy them. I don't know, does that make me a bad vegan? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it if anyone's got different opinions. But yeah, I'm going to have one though. Wow. So as if it wasn't bad enough that she was simply eating a bun with nothing on it, just a gluten blob with possibly vegetable oils on top. No, of course she went ahead and deep fried the whole thing, creating acrylamides in the process. We need cancer. I appreciate it. More gluten. Of course, broccoli contains glucosinogens, which is basically goitrogens, which can impair thyroid function. Who cares? Not vegans. Healthy. Green, healthy. Black olive on top. Healthy as well. Garlic, antiseptic, more vegetable oils. Blend the whole thing. Bon appetit. Fantastico. Bellissimo. Wow, they really filmed themselves blending stuff. That's amazing. 
Why would you crave something that replicates dairy? Why, vegan beauty girl? Why? I just got a parcel through in the post. This one's saying. I accept gifting these days. Her skin looks terrible, by the way. Born of the it's not an insult, it's a fact. Really like you have a lot of red spots around your nose, the eyes, the chin. Milks. They have this gorgeous pistachio milk, which I've tried for, and I think it's quite expensive. It's really hard to find as well. Like, I actually would treat myself to it on the odd occasion if I could ever find it. So I'm really happy that I've got some of this. That's unsweetened premium pistachio drink, lightly sweetened. Ooh, yeah, but it's so not a milk, it's just nuts. Most nuts contain lectins or phytates or aflatoxins. Why would you drink this? Mix and another trial mix. As far as jars go, I've got 100% pistachio crunchy butter. A cherry smooth almond. It's quite amazing. Ooh, I talked okay. about this on my live streams. As a vegan, you really obsess about foods that you then, as a meat eater, couldn't care less about. Those foods are so unappealing to me now that I can eat steak. Nutty smooth pistachio butter. Who cares yeah, for really pistachio nice butter? That is right up my street. What would I do with it? I don't even know. Okay, that's not too bad. Tomatoes are nightshades, but this if you can tolerate them, fine for hydration. This is actually a salad recipe I found on Instagram, so I'll link the recipe for that down below. I okay. kind of changed it a little bit, just based on what I had. That's the only around. thing that will give her some type of sustenance. That's it. What is this? Uh, it's so amazing how far the brainwashing goes. People really believe this is healthy just because it is green and colorful. In this dish, you simply have goitrogens, oxalates and vegetable oils. Healthy? I'll let you decide. What's this? Exactly, this comes from pure starvation. Anybody knows that this pistachio cream doesn't go well with this salad or whatever this is. But because she is so hungry as a vegan, this combination makes sense to her. Wow. Good morning. I am on morning. an event this morning and they are going to have breakfast there, but I'm going to be walking in. I'm not one of those people that functions well without breakfast, so I'm going to have like a hot cross bun before I head there and then... More healthy food. There. We're going to try the coconutty one on the hot cross bun. Sounds disgusting. At least she admits it. So I'm out with the brand around Covent Garden and we had a little bit of a breakfast. Wow. We a what I noticed is that she really didn't eat any protein, not even plant protein. About That's an accomplishment. By Hiram. We had a little video from Hiram and we learned a bit more about Nobody the cares. More carbs, more gluten. That's so all she eats. Hiram. How is now this healthy? I'm to a Cadbury's pop up to check out what's going on wow. there. Here is the Cadbury's pop-up. It is a mean sweet shop and it's out to change plant-based hate to plant-based love. They've basically covered their chocolate bars with mean tweets about veganism, which was actually quite funny. I quite enjoyed some of them. They were giving away free chocolate bars and I filmed a reel and a TikTok whilst I was there. Wow, 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 wow. It's just products. I must Every say time. though, um, the chocolate bar was all right. It was definitely very Moorish, but I much preferred Bourneville. I really enjoyed that, and I'm really sad they've added milk to it and instead replaced it with okay. this for lunch at home. I finished off that more salad. useless salad. Later it's very, very I simple to see what she does. She eats salads, thinks it's healthy, then she's starving and eats carbs, carbs on top of carbs. With that, the insulin roller coaster starts. She gets even hungrier. Blood sugar up, blood sugar down, supreme starvation. This is why she is stuck in that cycle of eating endless carbs. Um, and then for dinner, I finished off the pasta more carbs. Today while Yet again. The OC. You cannot be satisfied without saturated fats and proteins. We even have receptors in our gut for amino acids that are only found within meat. Why is that so? Why? Think about it, please. We're I really want the best for you. Tofu this morning. There's the protein! Finally, on day three. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not recommending tofu, but if you're already eating vegan, you have to get some sort of protein. It is what it is. It's mediocre. I wouldn't eat it, but as a vegan, you have to. That's the only dish that makes sense out of the vegan framework. It's still terribly unhealthy and disgusting, obviously. Wow. What? 
cantaloupe with all those bagels. That looks so sad and you burn everything, woman. Why? Control your cooking, please. Hachi. Good morning. Bless it's you. another beautiful day in London. Oh. I think you can actually hear birds tweeting. More burnt bread. Licked in beans. Avocado is the only thing that makes somewhat sense. I have a smash aspect this morning. It's so repulsive to, to watch. You automatically day. have to think how she's gonna run to the toilet. Had a the repulsive. Recently. She's gonna it's fart a lot. To That's what's gonna happen. Things. It's beans. I actually asked if it would be possible to back in with a coil as well whilst I was there. I was like, oh, whilst we're down there, could we do that as well? And it's just like a different house service I have to go to. For okay, I had enough. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. Long enough as it is, as I said, I I cannot watch the whole week you get the idea vegans have absolutely no clue about nutrition this is why they only eat carbs and vegetable oils they get lucky if they have one day where they eat some plant protein which is supremely mediocre and will disrupt your hormones as well if it comes in the form of tofu all right guys but this is it for today if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much all right as always may god bless you all much love and peace